Hello there ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Atten and I'm here today to pretty much make a tutorial on how to use the AIL encoder. Now I'm releasing this script to the MTA community because let's just be honest here, you know, I feel that something like this is needed. Okay, so to get started here with the AIL um, system, you will first of all need to extract the package. It'll include these two resources here, ALD code frame and AL encoder. Under no circumstances do you change this name here because it will cause problems with the Lua files here. So my recommendation to you is just to leave that name alone, leave the file types here alone. Okay, so say for example you want to encode a script using AL. You open up the decoder and then you pretty much write your stuff into your two Lua files here. Make sure that there's one called server.lua and one client.lua. The script won't accept any others than this. Now, you really don't need more than two, one file for server and one file for client unless you really, like, you don't, you just don't need it. So we have, um, like, we went ahead and just, um, put a little header here just to show that we're not really using this file, so I recommend to prevent any bugs with the decoder that you just, you know, put this and then just some random numbers and letters just to tell the decoder that you're not going to encode that file for anything, but it's up to you. Um, but pretty much how this works is that you will go, it'll encode this into um, T, which is the tiny encryption algorithm. So what you need to do is you can do this in-game or on the server console here, so I'll just do it here since it's easier. Type in encode lua files. What that will do is it'll read both of these files and it should hopefully encode lua files. What it should do is encrypt um, these two lua files and then convert them into .t files. Start AL encoder. It's also important to make sure you have the actual encoder online, which you know, it's sort of essential, so encode Lua files. And what we should get out of that is two files, one called server.t and one called client.t. Now, these files on their own, you can't do anything with them. They're, you know, encoded. You can't really read them, make any changes to them, or execute them on the server. They're, you know, they're useless. They're completely fucking useless. So what you need to do is you need to install them into the decoder. Now, this decoder is really the fancy part of the whole, you know, script. It has one file here that will essentially load all of the data into... Well, yeah, I've gone ahead and hidden the source code, but I won't upload this with the actual script because the keys are stored on it, but... Um, what you have here is, like, the decoder. Now, it'll... Like, all you need to really do is just put in the two, you know, T files, so just go dot t go ahead and just copy them and go to the decoder and just put them right in you don't have to make any changes to the meta it'll simply load up the t framework files so it pretty much works the same way as any other resource does and don't be don't worry guys i'm not going to put these lua files with it so you can't really decode jack shit out of of these files so pretty much how it works is that you know you just drop these little files into these two T files into the root directory of the encoder. Then you can rename it, you can zip it, you can do pretty much anything you like to, you know, make it yours. So say for example I wanted to create this as happy fun time script, you just rename it and then as long as you've got the two files that you want then you've pretty much got yourself a script. The AL decoder will simply load these two files. You don't even need to use a meta unless you've got things like music files or images. I'm gonna let you guys, um, you know, give it a go. And um, this is just my little tutorial on how the hell you can use my AL encoder. And uh, if you like it, then please leave a comment on either YouTube or on the um, MTASA forum page. I do hope you guys enjoy this little tool. And uh, yeah, see ya.